Oh, it. hey there, guys. How's it going? Totally wearing a blue sheep e juice shirt while bottling not blue GC shoot. What the frig did I just say? Blue sheep e juice. Blue shoosh e sheep. Frig sakes. Talk about the vocabulary screw up of a lifetime. Anyway, I got to bottle some juice. We got to get off to work today. Uh, it's Sunday. I already did one shift. Wasn't too bad. Things are finally starting to calm down at work, which is a definite bonus. Tonight, I'm going to need to shave my head again because my hair is growing in every which way but right. Ugh, I really need to invest in some labeling. But anyway, these ones over here, these four, this is blueberry cheesecake and this is orange creamsicle. You can sort of tell the discoloration between the two, maybe not, but I'll just have to separate them when I put them back into the closet. But yeah boys, we got juice for like a month and a half now. That's how long it takes me a while to go through these 30s. Mainly because I'm using this rig here, the uh, it's filthy as frig with juice, but anyway, the Atlantis on top of a uh, iStick 50. It's been my rig of choice. <coughs> It really gives you one. Holy shit. I haven't vaped all morning first time. She gives you one. I finally put a new coil into it too, which is good because the other coil was tasting like burnt. Like burnt cotton and not good tasting. So right on. We got eight more bottles of juice. Plus we got a little bit... No, that's not it. Where'd it go? Uh, we got a little bit left of Bloke's uh, Barbie. And we still got about a little over, a little under a half a tank of this Splode, which is really hard to use because it's not that good. I don't know, buddy fucked up when he made it. But uh, I'm anxious to try out this new juice. It's going to go back into the closet for the time being, and then uh, we'll deal with it later. So like I said, it's Sunday here, so right on. Got juice bottled and ready to go. I ran out last night at work. I was running off reserves until I got home and reloaded. Brought, I forgot to bring a bottle with me. I was stupid yesterday. But... Um, yeah, work was pretty easy last night. Uh, Bruce and I didn't get hammered with calls. I think we each did two. So that might mean the voicemail problem or the email problems resolved. Now, like I said earlier, we are doing a big cutover this weekend and tomorrow is going to be the big friggin' beta test or not the beta test, but like the go live, I guess you want to call it. And from what I was told is after go live, that's when uh, they're going to start looking at the schedules. As in, is it feasible to have us working these kind of hours, and then they're gonna, they might redesign the schedule, so I might get weekends off again real soon, or who knows, like who, who the frig knows. We will see, oh, we will see what happens there, because yeah, it's gotta go with the flow and get through this and go from there. So I'm gonna let the dog out one more time, and then while he's out there, I'm gonna make a lunch, and then we're gonna head off to work. Get the shift over with. Seems that Mother Nature has decided to take it upon herself to water my lawn. Right on. So let's get off to work, people, and get this day over with. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure. What the hell is that guy doing? I guess he took a wrong turn somewhere, but whatever. I guess uh, one of the bonuses to being with Bell is we got a new feature on our phone system that allows us to put a warning, uh, like a warning mes message up, eh? So that when like, you call in, if there's an outage, it'll be like, the following regions are currently without service. Blah, 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 ha, la, la, and blah, blah, blah. If you are in those regions, that's why your shit don't work. If you'd like to speak to a technician, stay on the line. And normally people will stay on the line and be like, how long is it gonna be? And then we'll be like, fucked if we know. And then they're like, shit. But, you know, it, it helps dwindle the calls down when there's an outage. Because before, let me tell you, there was an outage, everybody's calling in and sitting on in the queue. And that's how you piss off customers. Now that we have this like, this this warning message or emergency message or whatever the hell you want to call it, it kind of alleviates. Well, we use the emergency message to say, if you're currently having problems with your email, try signing in with your email address as your username. And uh, honestly, I think that worked. Like the people who aren't window lickers figured it out and fixed their own shit. People who weren't window lickers just came through and then we walked them through fixing their own shit. I shouldn't say window lickers. Some people just don't know how to set up their shit. They know how to use it, but when it breaks, they're lost. Just like how I am with cars, you know? I know how to drive a car, it doesn't mean I know how to fix it. It'd be awesome if I did though, because, you know, fuck paying a mechanic, but you know, they gotta eat too, so that's why we have them. People like me can focus on other things rather than learning how to fix every single device they own. Holy shit, did you see the bush bars on that Dodge? Holy, bud, you going hunting for moose? 
Freak <laughs> No, I told you guys about that back in the day. My buddy used to have a Toyota pickup truck, a T100, I think it's called. And uh, he used to see deer and he would just fucking lay down, lay the throttle to the rug and just slam his truck into the deer. And back then, if you killed it with your car, you had the right to take it. Now it's not like that anymore. Now if you slam into a deer, you call the MNR and they clean it up and you get nothing out of the deal. So, yeah. You can also apparently be an asshole and nudge it off to the side of the road with your truck. I heard about that story one time, but uh, that's kind of rude. You get caught doing that purposely harming animals and uh, the M&R will friggin get the cops involved and well, you'll be in shit, like big times. But anyway, I digress. I think tonight when I get home from work, I'm gonna bang off another 240 ml of e-juice. And I need to order some more supplies. I wanna order from where Bloke orders from because the stuff he buys is way better quality than the friggin' piss I buy from locally. And that's because they watered it down. Like we compared vegetable glycerin versus vegetable glycerin. His American bought vegetable glycerin versus the stuff I bought from Fusion Flavors. And like, my stuff is runny, like his final product is, and his final, what the fuck is this? It's an Ecoped gang, people. It's a fucking Ecoped gang. Are you serious? Is this actually happening right now? All right, boys, you got it live right here on Vlogging Life. North Bay has a fucking Ecoped gang. Just when you thought things weren't any stupider. Let's get off. Lights green. But, uh, yeah, like we compared my vegetable glycerin versus his final product. And his final product, for instance, the barbie juice being 6 milligrams of nicotine, I believe he mixes it 50-50, 50 PG, 50 V. And his barbie juice was thicker than my vegetable glycerin by itself. Which means Fusion Flavors is not giving you 100% vegetable glycerin. They're cutting it with propylene glycol or water using distilled water and cutting it just so they can sell you more for less, you know? Is that right? Unfortunately, sure. Because there's no regulation for ingredients. People can do whatever the frig they want, just like CanVape selling you flavoring that's been cut with vegetable glycerin, reducing its potency, but they can buy 30 mil and turn around and sell it as 230s and double their profits. And they can get away with this. Because who's gonna fucking stop them? It's not illegal. There's no regulations on flavors or anything right now. So do I believe that e-cigarettes need some regulations? Yup. Do I think they gotta go all freaking crazy on it and like stop us from vaping everywhere? No. But I do think some care needs to be used in the ingredients that we use, but anyway. Just comparing the two, I was like, yeah, bloke, I need your website. I want to order some stuff. So he gave me the information, and now I just got to get around to doing it. And don't even ask me where I'm buying it from, people. Bloke told me not to tell anybody, because secret. Secrets. Frig off, eh? Do your own research. Or get your own bloke to tell you. Not saying my juice sucks. Like, I love my juices. Even with the Fusion Flavor shit, it's not too bad. But uh, our, our guys don't really carry the, the flavors that bloke had, and one of the ones that he had that I want is vanillin. Or vanillin? Yeah, I think it's called vanillin. It's that true vanilla taste, not that shitty, burnt, tastes like cigarettes soaked in vanilla taste. Like vanillin, the good stuff. Now, I can't find it up here in Canuck land, but I can find it down in the Murica's, so I'm totally gonna order some of that, because that stuff's delicious. But yeah! Bang off another 240 fold of juice tonight. Wait a week, bottle it. Hell, maybe I'll, no, I don't have enough ingredients to do 480, otherwise I would. I need more, I need more vegetable glycerins, but. Oh, what the fuck is that truck doing, eh? Just dicking around, bud. Doesn't know how to drive, you forgot. He needs a lesson. I guess I don't need my wipers anymore. The rain stopped. Well, no, it didn't, it's still drizzling. But anyway, I work with that warning system in the email. Yesterday, Bruce and I only did like two calls each, which was a typical Saturday. So from what we were told, like I said at home, um, first they want to get this cut over done so that we're on their new ticketing and everything's all unified with Bell. And then they want to start looking at our schedules because even they see a problem with seven people on, and having to do uh, 16 hours 
over seven days with seven people is not feasible and if somebody calls in sick we right away go into pandemic like next week like not the week coming up but the week after like i said the schedule is going to be me bruce saturday me bruce sunday me bruce monday me tuesday me wednesday bruce thursday bruce friday if something happens on tuesday wednesday i fall ill and can't come into work they ain't got nobody to run the show because now we're down to six no we're down to five people that week five people to run seven shifts at 16 hours and if you do the math that's like 112 hours amongst five people so it just doesn't work out there's a lot of dead zones we're gonna pull it off because we're hard as fuck but it's just gonna be really really stressful and mind-boggling and people are gonna hate their lives and stuff so not really looking forward to that day but it is what it is so a little, little deal a little friggin deal wonder if the boss is in today he's supposed to be in today doing some ticket work I know customer service is in there uh, they were in yesterday they're trying to make sure the billing shit goes smooth with the cut over on Monday so that customers don't get free service because that would be bad that'd be we'd be in trouble for that one but um, yeah so that's pretty right on and also we're no longer as of Monday going to be getting calls about telephone lines that will all go to another company they're taking care of our phone circuits so that's lovely so that's one thing that's going to alleviate a little stress but still the coverage isn't there that's the problem it's like they can take away all the work they want if they want bodies sitting in those desks we need a change to the schedule because right now we do not have the manpower to meet the time schedule and I don't know why they don't see it, but now they do. But like I said, they gotta make, holy shit, bud. You're just gonna creep right across the friggin' line and go park on the friggin' walkway? My goodness, do you even drive, bro? But um, yeah, so that should be pretty interesting. Kind of interested to see what happens there. Like I told, uh, like I told my boss, I said, you know what? The weekends now that this email craze is done, the weekends are dead. And before noon, we don't get calls, and after six, we don't get calls. So they could re literally run a two-man team, noon to eight, like we used to do back in 2004. Noon to eight on the weekends, two-man crew. That way, there if somebody calls in sick, there's somebody there. If somebody's on vacation, there's somebody there. Not a big deal, you know? And then take the other two, which would be me and Bruce, and put us back Monday to Friday. Let us run a Monday to Friday shift, and then have the other two dicks work the weekends. And that would work out. That would be feasible. You know, if they're really, you know, hard set on having a weekend shift. Yep, the boss is here. There's his Dodge Ram with the grandpa cab onto it. Oh, customer service is here too. Let's see if I can back my car in. Probably not. I suck at this. Oh fuck, give the man a cookie. He just backed his car in. Way to go at him. It's like driving, but backwards. So yeah, needless to say, uh, if they change the schedules, that'd be pretty awesome. But they might even say the weekends will outsource it to our network operations center or do like they do with Northern Telephone and Telebeck and all that, where they just basically on the weekends, all calls go to Telebeck because they, Bell Alliant owns them too. That's how Northern Telephone does it. It's Monday to Friday, they got dicks in the office taking care of the shit. But on the weekends, everything goes to Telebeck and then they just cut tickets until the Monday shift comes in or whatever. So if they do that here, then that means nobody on the weekends. Maybe they might consider getting me and my other buddy there, the other guy who's set to leave, get us out of here. And then we can start worrying about our future, which will be interesting. I got a lot of people who want to work with me, and I'm willing to work. Like, that's the thing. And I know a lot of you guys think that I'm talking out my ass, and that's fine. You can believe whatever the fuck you want, because in the end, it's me who's going to live this life, not you. So I just pick up a camera and, you know, whore it out on YouTube because I'm an idiot. But uh, that's the way she goes. I wonder if my boss is still here because of me. I wonder if I was supposed to email him my two tickets from last night. I bet you he's waiting for those. Oh, he's going to be pissed. Wait until he finds out I only have two tickets because I only did two calls yesterday. Two calls that I... I had to break the rules to friggin' answer because, see, we weren't supposed to log into the old ticketing system because they're doing work on merging it over, but both calls I got were people needing their username and password, and the current technology we have available to us until tomorrow doesn't give username and password, so I literally had to break into the old system to get the information so these guys could log on to the internet. I'm probably gonna get in shit for it, but... The way I see it is, is I gave them excellent customer service and they're still customers of ours.
you know. They could have just gotten so pissed off and said, frigate, you know what, because of that, I'm going to leave and go elsewhere. But no, I went above and beyond the Call of Duty and did her, and oh my goodness, this is a 3XL shirt, people. That's why it's like a tent on me, for frig's sakes. It's the only shirt bloke had to give me was a 3XL. It's freaking brutal. It's huge. But uh, anyway, people, I'm at work. I'm going to go inside and give the boss my tickets and see what the what is. And maybe they got pizza again for us, which would be freaking awesome. So I'm going to go from there. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment as always. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.